smells like shit in here. Shh. God, you idiot. It's supposed to. Your brain is supposed to sweat so that you can focus better. This is worse than doing manure angels in a field of dead chickens. Oh, you know. What? Y you know what? I think your brain is afraid to be successful. Now, let's start with some deep breathing. So, take a deep breath in. Hold it. And let go. Where'd you get that? It seems I have no brain. I'd like to welcome all of our regulars and our newbies. <laughs> now, usually I like to let the newbies know a little bit about what they're in for, but today I thought it would be nice to hear about the yoga brain via client testimonial. So please, won't you open your heart and your yoga brains for Sally Kellerman? Hello, I am Sally Kellerman. Over the years, I've tried a million cockamamie schemes to pull my life together, from breathing with a humidifier to fire therapy to the platform. And then I found out about the yoga brain. Am I okay on time, Monday? What does that mean? Just take as long as you want, Sally. All right. So there I was, frantically looking for a present for my manager. And I came across the Hustler store on Sunset. And I thought, perfect, I'll get him a gag gift. You know, like uh, one of those blow-up dolls or those little titty earmuffs we all love. <laughs> As I entered the store, my yoga brain unclenched and I fainted. When I awoke, I knew that I had to focus on the thing I enjoy the most in life my singing. It has always been my passion, and I never had the courage to choose it. Somebody call the cops, a big guy with a badge on his chest, and we'll case my place together, and then, well, you know the rest. So bad. Oh, please. That was a complete waste of a morning. But it saved me from finding a way to waste it myself, I guess. At least you learned something. Jackie! 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 Jackie? Sally? Please, call me Sally Keller. I know. I don't know why I said that. Oh, I let it go this time. I'm a conduit to a new understanding. You are going to learn to strain the pain from your brain because it's what we all want. Well, I've always wanted the same thing, to be a paid screenwriter. You must go from wannabe to all I be. Way to dog on minutes, Sally Kellerman. You mean write what's in front of me and, and forget about all the screenplays I haven't written. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. How do I get out of here? There are no walls in your subconscious. Only the ones you create. Cut the shit, Sally Kellerman. Point to an exit. Right there, go. Go on. Two more minutes, I was going to call an ambulance. Jackie! Excellent work on the obese teens piece. It has the detail of a tax return and the punch of men's groom graffiti. The band will love it. Oh, fantastic. What else needs writing around here? Uh, well, I don't think I have any more interviews scheduled. Well, how about something from another section? Oh, you don't want to write that stuff. Maybe I do. Uh, what's musts? Have you even read this magazine? Uh, musts is the first place our readers turn to for hard-hitting retail recommendations. It's our most popular section. Well, that's where I want to be. 
sorry. We don't devote a lot of musts inches to a uh, coming rebirth of silent film. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to be a wannabe screenwriter, but now I'm an all IB journalist. How do I find the best handbag? Okay. Bennett Street. Hip new shop, celebrity traffic, poised to be the next Montana Ave. Fantastic. I know it well. It's right in Washington Park. Precisely. Get there, vibe it out, tell us whether it's hot or not. A must or a bust. She boop or de doop. Okay. Oh, okay. What were you doing in Washington Park? Chasing a leprechaun. How about it's none of your fucking business? Hi, Dana. Close the door. Is it somebody's birthday? Are we, uh, are we planning a surprise party? Because, <laughs> you know, I, I cannot keep a secret. I just... Sarah, yes. shut up. I want to talk to you as a friend. I'm sorry about the shut up. My predecessor, Carol, was obviously unbalanced. Yeah, well, you don't just walk into the La Brea tar pits with your pockets filled with rocks for no reason. I want you to know, I don't work that way. Women in business form a sisterhood. That's why you should know. There's something big going on here with Night Sky. What? Oh, are we gonna be fired? No. Maybe. Maybe. No, but the rats are on the move, namely the male rats. I was a VP at Virago Media when we were bought by Turk, the Scandinavian electronics firm. And there were winners and losers in that Terra. And the losers? were the ones who found out by email. What, so we shouldn't check our email? <laughs> Kidding. You know, I'll, I will keep my eyes open. I'm pretty good at snooping around. Oh, Lord, you trying to break my will? Don't do that to me, right? I lost six pounds last month. Oh, we don't have to eat them. I just can't make myself throw them away. One of the valets down in the garage, I don't remember which one, his daughter was down there selling these bars for some school picnic or field trip or some shit. And you had to be a big shot and show how much a man's got in his wallet. I stood there and watched every jackass executive at Night Sky walk right by her like she was some homeless little garden gnome. So I bought her every single candy bar she had. That's sweet. Thank you. Now give me $20 to pay her, I only had five. Jackie Woodman, August, shit, 2007. Interview with Margot Munn, Michelle Eisenberg, and Dee Simon, owners of Margot's Stasis and uh, other stores, respectively. Note, I may be here on the wrong day. Excuse me. Excuse me, do you know if Margot's is closed today? I'm supposed to meet her for an interview. Oh, you must be Jackie Woodman. Oh, look how pretty she is. Oh, oh she is great. Oh, oh you God. are great. That's Dee, I'm Mickey. That is so funny. That is so funny, because we knew we'd be in here and you're probably wondering where we were, right? So, well, Margot, <sighs> she couldn't be here. She forgot the keys to her shop. That is so Margo. I believe that. I, it is. So I probably won't catch her today. Not unless you're fishing with a wallet. <laughs> well, I look, I told her to stay closed because, you know, she should be here with us. Oh, but if she closes, Ron will kill her. Look, she's doing an article with Jackie Woodman, which is only going to be good for business when it comes out. Mm. She should just tell her little hubby to stuff it. <gasps> oh, shoot. I've got someone. Why don't you just get rid of her? Tell her, tell her you're closed. I can't. I'm scared. Oh, for Christ's sake. Watch this. I'm sorry. We have to close early today. We just found out that candy has sugar in it. But we'll be open tomorrow. God, Jackie. Oh my God, that is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I swear. I mean, I wish I had a painting of that. You are awesome. Amazing. I mean, yes, yeah. you really so are. Funny. I've heard she, that actually. I thought so. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. That 
ending made no sense anyway. Ugh, fucker. Tell everyone, tell no one. I thought the acrylic bracelets were musts, but I'm sorry, the soy candles were busts. I know you cannot bribe me to change a bust to a must. Okay, go fuck your soy. Jesus, first the Bennett Street blurbs, now you're defending your musts? You are on fire. Let's see. Do -do -do -do. What about Dodie, a musical comedy about Dodie Fayette and his ill-fated romance with Lady Di, starring Jenna Elfman and Paul Sorvino? This is a go and not a blow. I'm gonna run this instead of Mitchell's article on how certain indie celebs have stopped flushing. But you promised you'd run that! Okay, well we'll save it for the year-end roundup issue. They're selling the company. Where does it say that? Put it together. A cryptic image, this aggressively kerned thought, and I don't know the first thing about it. Dana, that could be anything. A tag sale, a fisting party. I've been through three mergers, a lawsuit, and three divorces, and they all start with men waving their fists, either literally or through mysterious photocopies. Something's up. Keep your eyes open. <laughs>